Previously, we talked about Evil Snipe and its ability to quickly jump to a character either within a line or a few lines below that. Evil Snipe is good for short distance movement. If we want to do a long distance movement, there is another package called AV which allows that. Let's see how it works. Let's imagine I'm working on a book and I have a few chapters written and now I would like to quickly uh, jump to certain words. For example, I would like to quickly jump to the last word in this paragraph. So I type GS space. The letters become darker and I can just now type any number of characters. So I will type three characters, mom. And I'm right at the moment word. Let's go back and let's repeat that. Now I would like to jump to the sections word, to this word over here. And I type GS space and I press two letters. So now this fragment SE is available in many different places. And AV allows me to select a place I meant. For each selection, AV appends a letter. So the first is A, then it's S, D, and F. Why those letters? Because those letters are located in the so-called front row. So that you don't have to move your hand, your, your fingers too much to access those letters. I wanted to move to the sections word, so I select D and I'm there. Let's repeat that. So now I want to jump to the sections word again, but I will just press one letter, S. There is now much more choices to make. For that reason, AV appends now two letters, mnemonics, to each place. So in my case, I will type LG to jump to the previous place. Now I have three windows. And if I try to search for a word using AV, it's only limited to the, the current window. This behavior can be changed with an option called AV all windows. So I type space H v or variable and i type av all windows as you can see it's nil so i select that and i can toggle this value right in this help window and i change it to true i close this and now if i press gs space as you can see all three windows are darker let's say i want to go to the chapter three so i press three and i quickly jump to that place. Let's repeat that. So let's say I want to jump to the chapter one, to the word little. As you can see, there are many choices here, but I was interested in the little word in the chapter one, which is designated now by F. I press F and I'm back in the chapter one. Let's now say that I spotted a mistake in chapter one and I want to quickly remove the off word located in the last sentence in the chapter one, but I'm here in the chapter three. So AV allows me to, to do it in a convenient way. I just press GS space followed by a letter. And now I press X followed by my selection, which is JL and it's gone. Let's repeat that. I'm here. I press GS space. I type one letter O in this case. Now, instead of selecting the place, I press X and JL. As you can see, I jumped to the chapter one, but I don't have to. I'm again here in chapter three, and now I press GS space O and the uppercase X followed by JL. The word is gone, but I'm still in chapter three. Pretty convenient. Let's now say I spotted another mistake, a typo. Here in the second line, horrible is not written correctly. Let's imagine I'm back here in the chapter three. Is there a way to change that? Well, I could do what I just did and do GS space H X H J and correct it. But humans are lazy. Maybe there is another way. A V integrates nicely with I spell. So let's repeat that with a small change. So I press GS space H. And now instead of pressing X to cut it, 
I press I for I spell, followed by the HJ selection. At the top, I spell suggests me now changes. So I'm interested in the first change, so I press zero and it's done. I'm here in chapter three, and let's say I would like to move the word little from chapter one, which is this word, and add it here before the collection word. I can quickly do this in AV. I just press GS space L, and now I press the Y letter for yanking or pasting, followed by the selection, which is HL. As you can see, the little word appeared here. I can also move this word from chapter one to chapter three without moving from chapter three. And in this case, instead of using Y for yanking or pasting, I use T for teleporting. I will teleport this word from chapter one to chapter three. So GS space. L. Now T for teleporting, HL. As you can see, the word is here in chapter 3 and it disappeared in chapter 1. Overall, AV is one of my favorite packages. It allows you to move freely up and down between windows and even select words quickly and move it around. And there is even more to that. I encourage you to check the package and integrate it into your own workflow. That's all for today. May the Emacs Force be with you.